family man you made it to the lifestyle yeah the music already been cued you on here with trap vision 3d man all right so today man just having one of them moments man i want to share with you a couple of watches i got on the table man uh but if you read the title of, uh, of the uh, thumbnail these are important pieces to not just me but people like me you know that that collect and victor watches so let's just get one thing out the way this video is for people that really like you know what i'm saying collecting watches like collecting some of the bigger pieces you know uh you could have a, a bunch of watches that range from you know twelve thousand dollars up to three hundred thousand dollars you know what i'm saying if this is not for you man it's just not for you it is what it is <clears throat> but these are either significant pieces or first so if you are a collector that like hey man you know what i want to jump in with y'all man i want to talk about my my watch collection whatever it means to you you know what i'm saying go ahead and knock yourself out man but i'm going to have uh my man vic is going to be on here with me today man if you don't know who vic is call him magnum vic king vic you know what i'm saying king magnum what have you uh but he's he's a he's like family you know what i'm saying so he gonna be on here with me man so this is just the start this this video one so on the table what i got is a bunch of watches man i got so many watches in here that are significant and or that mean something but i just grabbed these man and the first one i'm gonna jump off into that graffiti piece i've been wanting this watch for a long time i said it before you know what I'm saying? It reminds me a lot of stuff, man. But this is one of my premier watches, man. Like one of my grails. It's a, uh, man, Pete. You know what I'm saying? Like the design on it, it's unlike any other watch, man. The clasp on it, man, is what I like. That scissor style deployment clasp. Fresh, you know what I'm saying? Another piece, this Abaqua specialty. I love the design because of the case and cradle, man. And this watch is dope, man. It's a reserve watch. This is my first reserve you know what i'm saying like my first reserve specialty you know what i'm saying sabaco specialty so this watch mean a lot man it's like our, our compass like i you know what i'm saying i've arrived to a point this one right here is like one of my first bro it's like this is the first five pro divers i've ever owned you know what i'm saying and that's the see-through i know that some people don't get down with that because you can see straight through the dock you know what i'm saying it got the bridge movement but this one, this is like, this is an oldie. <laughs> this is one of the old ones, man. Like, I really, I just got this one shined up, had it uh, serviced. I'm even thinking about changing the, uh, changing the actual uh, clasp out to a reserve clasp. You know what I'm saying? This piece right here, this is my first Salida 200 movement, man. You know what I'm saying? This is like my, my, a big boy movement to me. Plus, I won this watch. From Georgia Mountain Watches, man. It's I like I really dig this watch, man. This is like one of my grill pieces. In my opinion. Don't have to be yours. This one right here. Just got the battery changed in that bad boy. This a looper, right? Now this one right here is an anniversary piece. My, my wife got the other one. You know what I'm saying? She got the small one. So that one means a lot. My first puppy edition. You know what I'm saying? I got this. Man, over COVID, this is a COVID collection. <laughs> yeah, but this is another Sabaco specialty. And man, look, I can't even front on this one, man. Y'all already know, man. If y'all didn't see, my man John, the phone guy, sent me this for my birthday, man. So this is a this is a treasured piece, bro. This one was another Grand Octane. So just like the other one, it's a Grand Octane. But this one came out last year, and I wanted it so bad, I just missed out on it. Actually, to be honest, I couldn't afford it at the time. I was able to get it on this go-round, and that's what it was, man. But each one of these pieces mean a lot. I know it's another one on here. I just got through fixing this for wifey. So I'm not going to show her watch. I let her show her own piece, man. But I wanted to bring, you know what I'm saying, like, if you look on YouTube, right, I'm a small YouTuber, if y'all had noticed already. These cats right here, when you see these pictures right here, man, these cats are wealth of knowledge, man. But there, there's only, in my opinion, man, there's only one flaw I feel that they have, man. 
and I feel like they, they shame you if you like stuff like this. You know what I'm saying? They, I, sometimes I feel like they give off false information, you know, because I've heard multiple times that the big watch is out the door. But there is a category for everything. You know what I'm saying? If you don't believe it, man, look at my man Vic. Look, this this is what my man Vic rock with. Hey, everybody in Trap Vision World. Vic here. My five pieces that uh, mean something to me. A little bit more than anything else because um, they're pretty much all first. Mickey Pro Diver that my lovely wife gave me for my 50th birthday. My first bolt, Zeus. And my first meteorite. Very lovely pieces. And my first Jason Taylor Master Calendar. Sabaka Specialty. With some Sabaka in there and Bolt Hybrid. And last but not least, the Magnum that started it all right here. I believe Justin and RJ were on a takeover show and this is the one that started my craze for magnums so there you go and uh sorry it's so fast but uh very limited here with time to send these things via phone or email or you know message all right hope everyone's well stay safe and until the next lightning strike so with that being said i asked vic for that video I asked Victor, you know what I'm saying, to participate, man. And he's just one of many people to actually enjoy collecting this brand. You know what I'm saying? And, hey, look, I'm going to tell you like this. The guys that I showed you earlier, though, you know what I'm saying, these are big-time YouTubers, man. And they are wealth of knowledge, man. So if you want to go on their page check them out, dude, I'm not going to lock you. You know what I'm saying? Some people won't give them the time of day because, dude, you know, I I'll put it to you like this. I've had people on, uh, what's the jewelry, uh, the, the, the time teller. I had one of his uh, fans, I mean, bad mouth me, man, talk about me so bad, bro. I was like, dude, I ain't even, you know, I could have got into a pissing match with him, but I said, for what? I mean, I collect what I like, you know what I'm saying? And that's what it is. <laughs> but there are a number of people on here that I feel like they missing a big point, man. There is room at the table for all type of watches, micro brands, and Victor, Aragon, you know what I'm saying, S. Koichman, Rolex, Casio, whatever whatever it is that you like, man, that's the crazy thing, so if I like this, that mean, that makes me wrong, you know what I'm saying, make me second guess, like, boom, am I, am I following the wrong company, nah, are there some bad practices in here, I'm not even going to argue the fact, man, there's some of the stuff that happens within Victor, man, look, and Victor fans don't like it. You know what I'm saying? It's not, I'm not even going front, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, trying to get a, a particular watch, man, just to find out that it got sold out or they sent the wrong one or whatever the case is. Don't know. You know what I mean? Like, if I had some bad some bad stuff to where I had to back up off the company, like, nah, bro, that ain't cool. But that doesn't kill the fact that I've met so many different people in this. And if you are one of those that say, I don't buy watches for that feel-good moment. I don't care nothing about what other people think about me. I like to know the percentage of people where that's actually true. Or actually, it really don't matter. Because I can tell you this. If you bought a Rolex, right? Or if you bought a Patek, or you know what I'm saying? Like you dropped $255,000 on a watch. You don't want nobody to know about it. You're not going to keep that thing hidden. They're going to see the car you drive. They're going to see everything about it. You know what I'm saying? So you're going to get some type of emotion from the other person that's peeping you out. You know what I'm saying? And, and it is what it is. It's just what it is, man. But I'll tell you what. There's always a bonus, man, from stuff that you do, man. And that's all I'm saying. And then come on here to bash the people that hate Victor, the people that, you know what I'm saying? Hey, you, you are more than welcome to your opinion. You know what I'm saying? I'll tell you like this. Leave a little bit of room for uh, growth, though, for us to all shine together or, like, for us to get along. Now, you, hey, if you don't like Invicta, that's cool, but you kind of close the door, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you feel like, hey, you like Invicta, you, you may be a trash person. Your personality is garbage. You know what I'm saying? You're not anybody that I would love or enjoy talking to or you're uneducated. I've heard that. I've actually got told that. 
I'm uneducated from the hood. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, all right, look, yeah, I'm from the hood too. So are you. Neighborhood, hood is just an abbreviation. It's a short version of neighborhood. Everybody grew up in some type of hood, whether it be the suburbs or I don't care where it is, countryside. <laughs> you grew up somewhere. But, hey, it is what it is. If you haven't joined the calls, man, if you ain't down with, you know what I'm saying, the lifestyle you want to join on, go ahead, click it. If not, you can keep scrolling. That's all good. It is what it is. But at the end of the day, man, I'm going to tell you just like this. Be the best that you can be. Be a great interpretation of yourself, man. You know what I'm saying? And keep pushing for perfection. Whether you reach it or not, man, always be kind to other people. At least try to be. You know what I'm saying? I know it's hard. We could be... Uh, kind of rough around the edges, you know what I'm saying, but do your best, man, other than that, man, to the next lightning strike, man, y'all be blessed.